What's up guys, Steve here again, and today Troy and I are super excited. Uh, we got a special package in the mail. It's actually a Sunday. Uh, FedEx delivers on Sunday out here, so we're super excited. We got his new e-pulse motor for his Infento ride. So those of you that may have joined in and checked out his uh, video earlier, we built his Infento. It took us like six hours to do, but super cool ride. He really likes it. You can actually see it right there but he really likes the ride. But now we're gonna be able to add a nice little motor on there and see if he can cruise along. I think it'd be pretty sweet, kind of like building your own little electric ride. But uh, here's the package here, let me show you. So this is the E-Pulse motor here. Pretty cool looking. Uh, hopefully it's not super hard to install like the rest of the thing was. But uh, we're gonna see if we can get this started and uh, check you guys in just a minute. All right, so if you haven't checked out our first video, make sure you check it out. Click that link up above or in the description down below and check out the Infento. It's this really cool ride that you can build um, for your kids or toddlers. It's really, really neat. A bunch of different types of scooters and trikes and bikes and little quads. It's really cool. But today what we're gonna be talking about is the E-Pulse motor. It's this electric motor that you can get to add to it. So. Typically, most of the rides you either, uh, you know, push power with your foot or you can pedal them. Um, most of them, a lot of them have pedal systems on them, um, just like a bicycle. But by adding the e-pulse motor, you're able to add um, an electric battery operated motor. Uh, and it's really cool. Um, with the wave of the future and things that are going on, I think this is gonna be a, a really cool add-on for your Infento. So first things first, it does cost about 270 bucks, so it's a little expensive, um, but if you weigh in the factors of what other common electric scooters and other things cost, uh, it comes out to be relatively close, um, especially, you know, you still have to buy the Infento. When we bought our Infento, the cheapest kit that you could get that supported the e-pulse motor um, was close to $600 or something like that. So all in all, it ends up getting pretty expensive, probably around nine, 900 bucks to $1,000 or so. But once you get it, it's really cool because you're always able to change it out, rebuild it, do something different, or as your kids grow, make something you know that's more capable for them as they're smaller and you know as they get older you can start adding the pedals and then add the motors and make it go faster all sorts of stuff so the system was fairly easy to add on um, our particular kit we had gotten the uh, genius kit and the ride that we built is called the speedster um, troy really liked it anyways it's a really cool three wheel kind of trike system um, that had pedals on it it's got disc brakes it's really cool and so we went ahead and we added the e-pulse motor to that. Basically all you had to do was just remove the pedal system and swap that out for the motor and then you just put the same sprocket back on and the same belt and everything and that's essentially it. You're basically just replacing the pedals with the Infento motor. Next, what you'll do is you'll find a spot for the battery to uh, kind of click in and basically you're able to just kind of set it in uh, and then it's got a little notch on it and you rotate it, it locks into position. Uh, and then what you'll do is you'll plug in the, the motor into the battery. So that's fairly simple. It's got these nice uh, uh, heavy duty plugs that you just plug in and then you twist lock them so that they're tight on there. Um, and then what you'll do is there's one last cable um, and you actually have to remove one of the handlebars uh, and you add this new handlebar uh, grip on there, which is the throttle and it's got a key and a button on there. So you'll run the cable to that and you can easily feed that through the, the bike or trike or whatever you built. Um, it also comes with a couple cable management uh, clips. So you run that in, hook it up, and now you have your throttle. The throttle is pretty cool. It's a, um, 
uh, a twist handle, kind of like a motorcycle, and uh, it does have a key and there's a button there. So the key essentially, um, without the key being in the system, it won't run. Um, it's kind of like a little safety feature. That way um, you can kind of control when your kids get to ride it and then when they don't get to ride it. Um, so you insert the key and once the key is inserted, you'll also notice on the side of the motor, there's a button, a power button. You press that power button, and so now the system is turned on, the key's in, so it's ready to go. All you gotta do is simply, you know, twist the handle and it will ride. Um, the key has two positions. There's a slow and a fast. Um, so once you twist the key, that makes it into fast mode. Um, the speeds range, I think slow is supposed to be about three miles an hour and fast about seven miles an hour. Of course, that depends on the weight of your child and stuff that's on there. Um, the more weight, the slower it'll go. But uh, either way, it's still pretty powerful. Um, don't tell my wife, but she's actually ridden on it a couple times herself, and it'll move her along just fine. So the system does actually have a, a reverse mode. Um, so the red button on the top by the handle, if you press that, it'll engage reverse mode. Um, unfortunately, with the Speedster that we had built, um, it has a, I don't know what you would call it, but uh, uh, the bicycle sprocket system on it uh, at the axle, kind of like a clutch system. So there's no reverse. Um, so it runs freely. So like, you know, on a bicycle, if you were to pedal backwards, uh, it doesn't actually stop the bike. It just kind of runs freely. Um, so on our particular situation, the reverse doesn't actually work, um, but it does have it. So depending on what you build, um, it could work. It's kind of a nice little feature to help your kids get out of a tight situation in case they can't turn or they need to back up. So overall, Troy really loves this thing. Uh, he loves riding around the block. It's cool because it's, uh, he can engage slow mode and even at slow, it's still a little, little faster than an average walk speed. Um, but when we go on walks in the neighborhood, we'll let him kind of hang back a little bit from us and then let him engage fast mode and he'll just catch up to us and he just has a total blast. My wife has actually been doing a little more running lately and so um, it's perfect for her because it's actually pretty close to her running rate and her speed when he's on fast mode. So he can go and just kind of cruise with her and keep up, which is nice. So she's not slowing down for him. One thing I do really like about the Speedster also is the nice big tires on it. This thing is able to go off road and with the electric motor, it's pretty cool. You know, he can go over obstacles on dirt trails and stuff like that and not have any problems. Um, the only thing that I did notice is of course, the, it's actually only one wheel drive. So if you check out this clip here, you'll see um, we were out in the snow and he got stuck pretty easily. Um, the tires aren't exactly super tread built and it is only one wheel drive. So they can get stuck in mud or if it gets off centered or so forth. So that's one thing to just kind of keep in mind. So Infinto states that uh, it only takes about two hours or so to charge it up completely and you get about an hour worth of driving out of it. And from our experiences, that's probably pretty close. I've never actually let it run down too far um, because overall the Infento, the, especially the Speedster, is pretty heavy. So you definitely don't want to be somewhere and have it run out of battery and have to carry it or push it back um, because there's no, um, you can't have the pedals on and the motor. So if it dies out in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna be carrying it back and it's, it's heavy or pushing it. But overall, you can, you can tell that uh, once it's freshly charged, it tends to have a bit more juice, go a little bit faster. And you know, a half an hour or so later, you can kind of tell that it slows down a little bit, but not horrible. Still plenty enough juice to have fun and enjoy it. It's also really nice because you don't actually have to remove the battery from the bike to charge it up. So the cable, the charger cable is really long on it. And um, there's two plugs on the battery pack. So you can simply just plug the charger cable into the empty plug on there. And it also comes with a nice little cap. So while you're cruising it around, you can put that cap on there. It keeps that plug covered up so you don't get mud or dirt or anything in it. So the E-Pulse motor does come with a two-year warranty and their quality is bar none. I mean, 
The whole Infento ride is built out of great materials. We have really enjoyed it. Um, he's driven it a bunch on clean roads and dirty roads and it has just held up. We haven't really had to do anything to it to maintain it. I'm sure you might eventually have to oil some of the the pieces and so forth, especially as they get wet and uh, full of dust or something like that. But the quality is bar none and especially the motor itself also, you can tell it's got great quality, the build quality, it's nice and hefty um, and their customer service has been pretty good. We had an issue. You can see here, we actually purchased the uh, little LED light bar here. It's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, when we received ours, uh, the controller didn't work for it. And uh, so the customer service was actually really quick to respond. They got back to us and sent us a new controller for it. Um, unfortunately, that controller doesn't work either. So we, we still need to contact them and see if maybe it's the receiver part of it or something. But overall, the experience has still been pretty good. Uh, I'm not so sure why it's not working or not, but it's still pretty cool. You can also see here, I did add a couple other lights. I went on Amazon and picked up a bicycle light set. Um, so it came with a front headlight flashlight kind of system and a little uh, red light flasher on the back of it. Um, so it was kind of cool because it was really easy to set up on the Infento. And sometimes we do go for those evening walks and it works perfect for that because He's able to help kind of shine the way it gives warning to anybody else on the road or driving around, that kind of stuff. And uh, the flashlight's super bright and the red light in the back is a nice little indicator that uh, he's there. Plus you have the cool LED light bar in the back. Um, hopefully we'll be able to control it, but uh, in the little demo mode that turns on, it's actually still really cool anyways. So one other thing that we had to do actually on the Speedster bike that we had built is we, since there's no pedals there, there was no space or no spot for Troy to put his feet. Um, so in the Genius kit that we had bought, there was uh, plenty of leftover parts that are meant for other different rides that you can build with it. So we actually ended up taking one of, um, I, I think they're supposed to be seat parts or something, but they work great as little foot holders. And so if you check this out here, you can see I kind of mounted that on uh, there. So he's got a great spot to put his feet and it works out pretty well. So like I mentioned, the Genius Kit is one of the cheapest ones that you could get that actually supported the E-Pulse motor. But there's kits that are above that. I think the Master and Legendary Kit. And both of them have some really cool rides that you can build um, that work perfect for the E-Pulse motor. Um, they have a lot of cool like four-wheeler, go-kart kind of, there's one called the Buster and they look super cool. Those tend to be more on the four-wheel um, kind of systems instead of a three-wheel trike. Um, I think four wheels would probably be a little bit safer. Um, there has been a couple times Troy's kind of taken a corner a little too fast and uh, you know that's why they don't make three wheelers anymore. That's why <laughs> people make four wheelers. It's a bit more stable. Um, so, and they look really cool. They're kind of lower to the ground, more of a go-kart kind of style. So that was, is definitely something I would look into if you're looking to kind of go all out and get the full system. Because if you buy the full kit and the, the E-Pulse motor all at the same time, it's kind of cheaper to do it that way. So if it's something you're interested in doing, I recommend just, just go for it. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, but it's a really cool ride and they're gonna be able to grow with it and say if you have other kids, you can always you know, dismantle it and build something else for another child uh, you know, and so forth. All right, so in conclusion, um, the E-Pulse motor is really, really cool. Troy really enjoys it. It's worked really well for us. Um, we haven't had any issues with it really as a, as a motor system. Um, you know, we've got this little Nick picks as the Infento as a whole, but the E-Pulse motor is a definite upgrade. If you're looking to um, up the ante and let your kids be able to cruise around, you know, forget trying to buy a power wheel system that can cost you $150 to $300. Um, those are just cheap plastic. Um, the motors don't tend to last very long. The batteries are big and heavy and stuff. Um, and this allows them to you know, build something different, turn it into something else. It allows your kids to kind of be creative, especially as they get a little bit older and they can start doing some of the stuff themselves. Um, Troy has come out before and wanted me to, hey, can we build this, dad? Can we add this on there, dad? You know, there's lots of cool things. And since it's a pretty modular, you know, bolt-on system, you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, you can use a lot of the spare parts to add things on. I added a little camera. You can see here in some of the footage, I added a 360 camera on a, on a selfie stick. 
so we could get cool shots, you can mount lights, you can do all sorts of really cool stuff with it. Um, that's the joy of the Infinto and its modularity and being able to do stuff differently and build it and make it your own. Um, so really we're super happy with it so far. Um, it is pretty expensive, so it's definitely an investment, but it's something I think is gonna last for several, several years. It's not just some cheap plastic toy. And uh, so really, if you want to, check out the link in the description. It's their website. You know, check out the kits that you can do. And if you wanna start small, just kinda get your hands wet in it and your feet wet, just try out the, one of the smaller kits, give it a try. Um, we started with the big one. You know, make sure you check out our other video, um, how we, when we actually built it and our full review of the Infento and what it looks like. Um, make sure you check that out. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps us out. It really encourages us, inspires us to continue to make cool videos like this one. So if you haven't already, check out some of the other videos on our channel. And until next time, peace out. Oh, oh, something's caught me! Something's caught me! Oh, shit. <laughs> if you haven't checked out our first video, make sure you click that up. Maybe I could talk here. No booty shake!